And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ziggs Malphite to start the day off. Uh, we're calling this Rank Up Week. We are at the uh, back part of Diamond. We're going to try to get to uh, Masters to get to the seasonal tournament this weekend. Right now I'm pretty confident in Garen Poppy and I think that's going to be one of my decks and we'll probably spend a day playing Garen Poppy uh, later in the week uh, for ranking up. But if we'd play the tournament, we'd have to have three decks. And I'm not exactly sure what I'd have for my other two. So we're going to be trying out three decks today that could all be options for that. And so we're going to start with Ziggs Malphite, uh, a deck I, I enjoy playing that we've played a, a couple of times. That I just, I really like Malphite. I think Malphite's underrated with it being so big and tough. It's just such a great blocker. And um, Ziggs is also very large for the size. And as we, whenever we played this last time, this is really a Herald of the Mages deck. Like this is a deck with three champions in it, um, Ziggs, Malphite, and Herald of the Mag Mages. And this was the best Herald of the Mages deck that I've played because not only do Malphite and Ziggs love the plus two, plus two, and Overwhelm because they're already large bodies anyway, they really love the Overwhelm, but we don't have other units that like take away from Herald being at the five mana slot. You know, like we're not playing Talia or any other like champions um, and other cards that are around five mana that like you also want to play alongside Herald, which is which is why I really like Herald in this list because it just kind of fills in the curve really well um, because we got a three mana champion and a seven mana champion. So this just fills in our curve perfectly. So uh, it's a really good synergy between the three cards. That's what it's all about. Um, playing Targon with Shirima means that we get some good early units. We get Chip, we get Blue Sentinel, some other good just like early blockers and, and able to be in combat. Plus we have a wonderful interaction spell with Ground Slam. Ground Slam is going to be a big part of this deck. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and try it out. We'll go play some games over in Ranked. We're starting at Diamond 4. Let's see how we do with these three decks. Ziggs Malphite, Action, Shivana, and Thralls. <laughs> you say which part's the back part? Low diamond or high diamond? I guess I guess what is low diamond and high diamond, I guess. We're in diamond four. I don't know if that would be low or high. Like high is in four is a bigger number than one, I don't know. Alright. Poppy Ziggs. Get our Ziggs mirror. I really want to play... Yeah, we got, we have to start playing units on round two, don't we? So I guess we're going to send this back. I like Ride of the Arcane killing the champions. I can also destroy the Endless Devout, but we got to find... There we go. Something to block. Go Blue Sentinel. Chip. So I'm going to go with the combination Rock Hopper plus Chip. Because once they play their one mana unit, you can tell they're going to be playing another unit. I wheeled on you. <laughs> All right, so this is a summon. Only got the two landmarks that have been destroyed. Alright, so we each have four cards still in hand. We have more mana. We're not going to be greedy. We're going to play one of these. I think it's Harold. I 
I really can't destroy a mana gem. Thank you. Appreciate you, pal. Get strong hit. More Mason reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. <laughs> hey, I am feeling great. We're not getting the best value out of our cards, but it's explosives prime. It's just how life is. I'm not going to be too greedy against the aggressive deck and just wait and wait and wait until we can uh, do something with them. So one, two, three, four, five, down to nine. No, 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 no. That was not the card I meant to play. I meant to play Ziggs. But, oh well. It works out. Same thing. I'm keeping up the, the ground slam for Noxion Fervor. Because this is pretty obvious Noxion Fervor setup. Alright, that'll do. Alright. Wanna know? Rock wins. Rock always wins. Yeah, it didn't really matter which one we played. Okay, we got a Talia deck. Gotta get our early landmark stuff first. There we go. Chip. Walk solid. <laughs> it's always really sad if you like play chip and then they have the like a one man deal one damage spell. So we three one blocks a chip. We do five. Out of my way. It's not like what the best trade. But let's well, trading a one mana unit for a two mana unit, and then a two mana unit for a three mana unit. Technically. Justin Nelio, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Hmm. All right, ground slam's always good. This is a tough spot. Hourglass is underperforming here. Maybe it would be better just to play one and then in another Unraveled Earth, as as y'all y'all wanted me to do. Unraveled Earth would be so much better right now. Oh, 
be a blast. <laughs> Alright, scared to scared to attack with Ziggs. Boom, boom, boom. I know the mountain. I'm Chip. I know the mountain. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, those Preservariums are so nice. I'm very jealous of my opponent's Preservariums. I just can't wait! Here we go! We have three Preservarium, two Hourglass, and unfortunately we drew the Hourglasses and not the Preservariums. My opponent drew the Preservariums. Damage doesn't even kill Ziggs. Yeah, the Preservarium was big time. I mean, having both of them. Goggles, powder, matches, let her rip! <laughs> it's going to be all about. It's gonna be all about the arsenal, right? Ah, I see you. The Herald has to you you have to have four landmarks destroyed. I can't I couldn't play the Herald yet. We now have four landmarks destroyed now, so now we can play Herald. You can't, you can't like play Herald like on round five and then just wait for four landmarks. I need to play all three cards. I need Chip and Ground Slam and Hourglass. Twelve's not done. Wait, why am I taking one damage here? Oh, the Zig's ability. I forgot about the Zig's ability. Never mind, I'm dead. I forgot about the Zig's ability. That had them so fast. Playing against Deep. Are any of these a mulligan against Deep? I don't think so. So we're playing one of them on round two, and then we're going to be double spelling on round four. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's take it for a spin. Boom. Boom. Okay. Star Spring could just be a landmark to destroy. We have to imagine, I, I kind of imagine that, that they have the 2-3 uh, 
sea monster. That card, Sea Scarab. That's, I thought they were going to have Sea Scarab. You know, I wanted to have the Rock Hopper before Sea Scarab, but they have Mirai Warden to protect Sea Scarab, unfortunately. You can see in here there's two Unraveled Earths. I did replace one Hourglass with an, an Unraveled Earth. That could, not have, that could not have gone any worse. For obvious reasons. Danger paid. Kill the Sea Scarab. What are you, 7 6? Six challenge isn't any good. Just kills their things and helps out their toss into game. We this is like the game that we need her like we need heralds, right? Like we need the plus two plus two over we need heralds and we need Malphite. Those are the only two cards that we need right now, Herald and Malphite. Especially Malphite. I guess with the, with the stunning, stun other stuff. So let's keep looking, keep looking for Malphite and Harold. Can't block anything else. If I block anything else, they go deep. Better than eating. Okay, got that card out of here. That's very good. and no heralds. Just a whole lot of two drops. Hmm. A whole lot of two drops. A little boom and one really big one! Another day, another explosion! I mean, so we can't wait for them to win. I mean, that's... If we have Malphite, we could stun their whole board and, like, attack for a lot. You know, 
if those things are worth it. I don't know if those are worth it. So maybe we got maybe we hit Preservarium, but no. Malphite! Yay! Finally. All right, so there's only six cards that can really help us win with the Magus and the Malphites, and we got we got the Malphite. We got one Malphite at least. Can't stop atrocity at all. No. Hope they don't have it. Mm. That's a good card, though. So, I like playing this deck against. Small decks. Darkness control. Alright. Get card draw. The endless devout's great with the ride of the arcane. The ride of the arcane is very important for killing their champions. Bomber Twin seems bad. I mean, yeah, whenever opponents are playing, you know, 13-13 toughs, you don't need a 3-2. Um, but against, like, the aggro decks, it's, you know, just more blockers, which are... and gives you a landmark, you know, it does... It's good against those kind of decks, but... When you're on round 8, you don't need the card anymore. It's kind of a you know, curse of the two mana units. We don't have like an just an abundance of card of landmarks that we want to destroy, or there. And Bomber Twins gives you that. Bomber Twin gives you a landmark that you actively want to destroy. Or okay with destroying. I don't really have like a favorite deck right now. Maybe Vic yeah, probably Victor Heimer. That's probably my favorite deck. Yeah, I'd say Victor Heimer. It's got Curious Shell Folk and Glorious Evolution and Glorious Evolution, super fun.
Keeping Ride the Arcane up to kill Vagar. Yes, yes, Braum's my favorite champion. I just haven't played a lot of Braum recently. I don't have like a favorite Braum deck right now. For Hush and Quicksand, it kind of depends on the deck. It depends on how much you want to be in combat. Like, if you're playing Sivir, probably rather have Quicksand, like, you know, a Sivir type deck, and, you know, like a lot of combat, a lot of attacking, a lot of blocking, a lot of challenging. You'd probably rather have Sivir that can help protect your champions like that. But if that's not, if, like, if that kind of stuff's not necessarily the goal of your deck, you'd probably rather have Hush. Skip. I'm planning on using Ground Slam on that card. Don't want to increase their darkness. Pranks are fun. Alright, so we've determined... I don't know, this, this could just be our last game with this deck, because I've determined I'm not going to be playing this deck at the seasonal tournament, so we can just kind of move on. Um, instead of spending more time on it, I suppose. This'll be a blast! <laughs> yeah, Otterpus is just like um, Dancing Droplet, how they have the one, one mana card with the tune that then does other stuff. They realize the getting the absolute free unit that then does other stuff is, you know, like, just like with Dancing Droplet, they removed a tune. I kind of expect they're going to remove a tune from the Otterpus as well. And I thought there was something good to see. Sing me the song of the rock tunes. So we're in a good spot. We got a lot of stuff out here. They're at eight. That was a really, really nice um, desert naturalist. Like that, that removal spell. They, they're probably regretting that removal spell. The problem is it's just ruination. But besides that, we're in a, we're in a good spot. Even ruination. I'd be able to still play like Hourglass to save Ziggs. Alright, Preservarium, keep drawing cards. For the wicked, for the dead. Drawing a lot of cards. 
guess we'll just destroy a mana gem. We're in a good spot. the win two and two Don't worry. I brought my own fireworks. our main thing against like the decks that go bigger is Malphite but we didn't find Malphite until the very end and they had Nautilus's champion spell for removal but we we needed uh, we needed Malphite I kind of keep desert what well, desert naturalist I don't really want to keep chip without a landmark. We have to get our landmark stuff early. We, we'll just send it all back, but I kind of want to keep a Desert Naturalist. Because if we do find all this landmark stuff, like one Desert Naturalist would be really nice. Um, putting, you know, all that power in play that it does. What is it? Put in seven, eight worth of power. Cat Peddler. Best card in their deck. They got two of them. Otterpus is so good. Stopping my Rockfall Pass. Perfect. Trinket Trade Puffcap Peddlers, so that's that's nice. And opponent Opponent's living the dream. Or it's tough for them to block with anything this round. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. For the mushroom. I mean, like have have anything die. I can make those two blocks. Because they need they need to keep the one one in play. For that rockfall pad. So they were able to do that, but they they take a lot of damage. We get this crest of insight. So we can play Malphite this round. Malphite's only at 5 out of 10. So Unravel Earth puts a 4. So that, that make it 9. Because I have to, like, Unraveled Earth and Preservarium. Something very 
That was a really disappointing game. Sword deck's okay. Like, you know, we saw we beat the Poppy deck without even having a very good hand. Uh, I think that was a, a good showing there. And we never really did have that good of a hand. Of, like, that, that last game was a good hand, except for, like, not, you know, like... You know, Puffcap, like, you know, you can't attack and block against Puffcap Peddler, right? So, like, it's just... There's not too much to do about that, right? Like, we couldn't... I, I couldn't do anything about what my opponent had because we didn't have one specific card right of the arcane to kill Puffcat Peddler. But besides that, we had, we had a very good curve of un, of of units out, and like we were going to be attacking for lethal there with like leveling up Malphite, and uh, and you know and creating the unstoppable force, and you know like they were at nine, we were going to do a, a lot of damage to them, but I can't do anything about that. Um, yeah, all those trinket yeah trinket trades Peddlers, and that's. That'll do, and then I guess you have you have your one Teemo to hit to double it up, and then you have your one Karina to activate. Amazing hand. Good job, opponent. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be playing this deck in the tournament, but like I said, we never really got to really show it off, right? Like, we're not, like, Harold, like, the point of this deck is Harold, and we never had, like, we, the, the early games we had Harold, but we didn't have, like, the landmark destruction, but we never got to show off how good Harold is with Ziggs and Malphite, right? So we, we never, like... Like that last game, my opponent did exactly what their deck could possibly want to do. We never got to do exactly what our deck would want to do. So we didn't get to really show that that off, right? Like, we cast zero unstoppable forces in in, in those games, right? Like, that's what our deck's trying to do, is unstoppable force. Uh, we we had, you know, zero overwhelm champions, right? Like, those are the those are the two things that our deck's trying to do. Never happened. Uh, but we still went two and... Even with that said, we still went two and three. And we still, you know, showed how we're really strong against the Poppy decks. We, we beat the Poppy deck without a very good hand. Um, so, you know, that that shows that we have consistency of putting bodies in play. Like, we, we did that consistently with lots of twos and threes. We could consistently get bodies in play. We just never had, like, our, our uh, powerful finishers. All right, so that... Um, that's going to be it for Zig's Malphite. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave those comments. Got any ideas, uh, let me know in the comment section. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.